In this video, I'm going to go over how you can set up your LinkedIn profile as a landing page for recruiters and employers. We'll go over how you can optimize your profile pic and banner, your info section, featured section, about me, work experience, and skills section. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and I'm a data analyst and today we're going to talk about your LinkedIn profile. Your LinkedIn profile is one of your best friends during the data job hunt, but unfortunately most people who are targeting data jobs significantly underutilize LinkedIn and don't tap into its full potential. So let's dive in. All right, let's start off with your profile picture, your banner, and your headline. Honestly, most people have pretty sucky profile images. They often look unprofessional, low quality, or just don't stand out. There's a few simple steps you can take to really make it pop. Obviously mine is set up for a different purpose, but I want to show you how you can set up yours using mine as an example. So let's head over to a tool that I like called remove.bg. All right, so here we are at remove.bg, and this is a great tool for taking a picture and removing the background. So we just go to upload image, we pick the image that we want, and simple as that, it removes the background. We can then download it or download it to HD. I believe for download HD, it gives you one free credit, but that's all you really need is one good picture. So make sure you got a solid picture, move it through the tool and you can get your background free profile picture. You could also do this in Canva, which is a great tool, but you need their pro plan to use it. Remove.bg is free, which is why I really like it. Once you have your picture with the background removed, you can just upload it here into Canva. It'll go right on the page like this. And we're just going to change the color of the background. So there's my trademark yellow. I just expand the image and boom, there is my new profile picture with a fancy new background. I can then just download this and put it into my LinkedIn profile. The next thing you want is a clean, relevant and professional banner. So we're gonna walk through another example here in Canva. So I suggest adding some simple information about yourself to keep from it being too basic. So this is pretty much what my banner looks like now, but stripped down. If I was starting over and just uh, marketing myself as a data analyst for hire, I'd start off with this. I'd probably have something in the corner here that says, check out my portfolio. I would put a nice little arrow in there somewhere and I could just change the size. So this is just directing people's attention down. And then I might just throw in little images of my skill stack here. So we got Excel, we'll get SQL, Vlad Tableau, Power BI. Make these a little smaller. So I just add my tech stack here in the top left-hand corner, Excel, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, Python. And you could add a little bit more to this, but this is a pretty solid start. And my name, data analyst, call to action to check out my portfolio, my tech stack up here. And even though this may be simple, this is way better, in my opinion, than just having a generic banner or no banner at all. Okay, so now that you have a professional profile pic and banner to match it, it's time to update your headline. People should be able to tell who you are and what you do just by reading your headline. Here's a formula I recommend for creating a nice headline. Your name, your target position, your high level skills, and your technical skills. Here's an example. Matt Mike, data analyst, data visualization, Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, Python. This lets people know what to expect before they even view your page and it sets a really strong first impression. The last step to wrapping up your info section is to create a URL to direct people to your portfolio at the top of the page. This sits right underneath your profile picture and headline. We can accomplish this by turning on creator mode. So here we are back at the page. Creator mode sits a little bit below uh, your section at the top here. If we scroll down a bit, we can find the resources section and within the resources section is creator mode. So you just click creator mode, you turn it on and it gives you some other options that we didn't otherwise have access to. One of those being the opportunity to create a URL link at the top of our page. To modify that, we click the pencil at the top right, scroll all the way down, we'll have a custom button section. Click edit custom button, say you wanna insert a link. You insert the link here, which will be your portfolio and just change the text. So if this was a portfolio, portfolio, I would just say something like view my portfolio. Click save and you're done. You'll have your fancy link right here. 
Once we have our link set up, next thing we'll wanna do is tackle our featured section. This creates an additional opportunity for people to see your portfolio, but this time we could also add an image. So once we're here at our featured section, we can click the plus button and we're going to add a link. So for me, mine is mattmike.card.co. We could click add. It'll pop up a thumbnail of your portfolio here and then just give it a title. You can just say something like my portfolio. Give it a nice description. Check out my portfolio to view my projects. You'll save that and it'll sit in your featured section. I'd also recommend putting two or three specific projects in your featured section as well. This helps fill out the section, but it also directs people to your best projects that you really want people to see. Trust me, utilizing your featured section is one of the best ways to draw people's attention exactly where you want it. Now that we have that set up, we'll look at the about me section. The key to a good about me section is keeping it simple, personable, and actionable. Don't just imitate whatever you would put in a resume summary. You have more space to work with in a LinkedIn profile than you do in a resume. So you should use that space and add some personality into it. Introduce yourself, give a brief description of who you are and your qualifications and give another call to action. An example of a good call to action would be asking them to view your portfolio or to send you a DM for job opportunities. You could even include your portfolio link here one more time to further increase exposure to it. With your about me section done, we can talk about work experience. Much of this section should actually replicate what you already have on your resume. For review, let's go over what a good resume bullet point looks like. A strong bullet point focuses on accomplishments accomplishments rather than tasks. This means action words, metrics, and impact. And the Google XYZ formula is great for this. It goes like this, accomplished X as measured by Y by doing Z. Here's an example that a marketing analyst could use. Improved customer retention by 15% using an Excel KPI dashboard in data-driven email marketing campaigns. So again, just one example, but you get the idea. Focus on impact. This is how you want all of your bullet points to look like if possible. It's better to have a few that look like that than a whole list of bullet points that just go over your day-to-day -day tasks and don't really explain what value you brought to the company. The other thing you'll want to add to this section is media, if possible. If you created a KPI dashboard in one of your previous roles, recreate it with dummy data to show it off as a work project. I've done this before and it looks great in a portfolio. Lastly, let's take a look at the skills section. The skills section matters because these skills actually operate as keywords for recruiter searches. They also help determine if you're a good fit for jobs you apply for on LinkedIn. If you have LinkedIn Premium, you may have noticed that it actually stacks you up against other candidates and the skills they have listed in their profile. You can have a max of 50 skills, so I recommend trying to put as many as you can that are applicable to data. Use technical and soft skills here. Of course, be honest, don't say you know Python if you really don't. Ultimately, this section won't make or break your profile, but it's there, so we should take advantage of it, utilize it, and maximize it the best we can. So there you go. LinkedIn can be a huge asset to the job hunt if you use it right. Invest in your LinkedIn profile. You won't regret it. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.